In a world where disease is a constant battle, one man's fight against leukemia sparked a revolution. Meet John Canzius, a man who turned his affliction into a mission. Before the diagnosis, John lived a life like any other, blissfully unaware of the storm brewing beneath the surface. The day he was diagnosed with leukemia, his world was turned upside down. The news that he had this life-threatening disease was a harsh blow that shook him to his core. But John was not a man to accept defeat. While the news was devastating, it also ignited a spark within him, a spark that refused to be extinguished by the grim prognosis. He made a decision, a decision that would change his life and potentially the lives of millions. He decided to fight, not just for his own survival, but for a world free from the clutches of cancer. He was determined to find a cure, not just for himself, but for all who suffered from this cruel disease. Armed with unwavering determination, John Kansius embarked on a journey to create a machine that would change the face of cancer treatment. With no formal medical training, John set his mind on an audacious goal. He wanted to create a machine that could potentially revolutionize cancer treatment. Despite the daunting challenges that lay ahead, his perseverance remained steadfast. Turning his basement into an impromptu laboratory, Kansius began the arduous process of designing and building his machine. It was a monumental task, fraught with countless trials and errors. But John's unwavering resolve saw him through, leading to the birth of the Kansius machine. But what makes this machine so special? The answer lies in its unique approach to treating cancer. At its core, the Kansius machine uses minuscule gold nanoparticles, so tiny that thousands of them can be injected into a single cancer cell. These nanoparticles act as a target for radio waves which the machine generates. When the radio waves encounter these gold nanoparticles, they heat up, effectively cooking the cancer cell from the inside out, while leaving their healthy neighbors unscathed. A method as ingenious as it is non-invasive, offering a glimmer of hope to those battling the deadly disease. The journey to this invention wasn't easy. It was a path laden with obstacles and setbacks. But through it all, John Kansius persevered. He faced each challenge head-on, driven by his determination to save his own life. The Kansius machine stands as an example of human resilience and ingenuity, a beacon of hope conceived in the midst of personal adversity. It serves as a reminder that sometimes the most groundbreaking innovations come not from vast laboratories, but from the hearts and minds of those touched by the very problems they seek to solve. Against all odds, John Kansius had created a machine that could potentially revolutionize cancer treatment. Sadly, John passed away in 2009 before ever seeing his invention come to fruition. Despite Kansius's unfortunate surrender to leukemia, his defiance lives on through this groundbreaking device. Still in its experimental stage, the Kansius machine already signifies hope for a future where cancer is no longer a death verdict, but a controllable condition. Global research facilities are tirelessly perfecting this revolutionary technique, edging us closer to transforming this hope into a feasible reality. Recent advancements highlight promising outcomes with clinical trials in progress and the scope of its application now reaching beyond just cancer therapy. A study published in the Journal of Biomedical Nanotechnology shows that the Kansius machine has potential in treating Alzheimer's disease. Another study from the Cancer Research Center reveals that the machine has been used successfully in targeting and treating pancreatic cancer cells. While John Cancius may have departed, his tenacity and inventive spirit endure, continuing to mold the medical sphere with his extraordinary invention. If you enjoyed this excerpt on John and the Cancius machine, please subscribe for more interesting stories. Stay healthy, my friends.